Hey, Scorpios. Good morning. Peace, love, light, and healing energy to all of my gods and goddesses. Welcome back to the channel. This is Sasha with the Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. So I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope your weekend went pretty well. So we're going to jump into this message. We're going to see what comes out. Of course, take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. Make sure that you guys are checking out the description box of the video for any information you would like to know about myself as well as the channel. Personal readings are open and available. The link is also in my description, intuitivegoddesstarot.com, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on. Spirit, angels, guides, and divine ancestors, I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. Please protect my energy as I open this portal. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Please return all dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, blockages, monitoring spirits offline and online, trying to disturb the message. Return the energy back to its rightful honor tenfold. So more to be. Amen and amen. So overall energy here is communication. This talks about a text message, letter, proposal, or an invitation. Okay. So there may be some type of message that you may be receiving. This can be through email. Um, you may get an invitation to maybe a wedding, baby shower, maybe to check out a home. It can be anything for this communication. So expect like a message to come to you. Okay. Oh, well, at the bottom of the deck, guys. And I know we are tired of talking about our ex-lovers and they're coming up in a reading, but I can't make this up. It's at the bottom of the deck, ex-lover. <sighs> I'm tired of talking about them too, guys. There's an ex-lover at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you may get a proposal from an ex-lover. So some type of message, love offer, engagement. I don't know, guys, but that's what it says. All right, so tell me more about communication. All right. And of course, take what resonates with you, leave the rest. Tell me more about communication for Scorpio. Hmm. So, someone from the past, an old flame, may write you a letter, email, DM you. I don't know. All right. Tell me more about communication, spirit, angels, and guides. All right. Two more shuffles. This one. And this is two. Tell me about communication, spirit, angels, and guides for Scorpio. Tell me more about communication. Thank you. All right. So the Knight of Cups in the reverse and the Five of Swords in the reverse. So this seems like someone who may have disappointed you, maybe not showing up for you, never gave you this love offer or, you know, expressed their feelings and emotions before. And looks like someone is ready to make peace with you possibly potentially reconcile for some of you hmm tell me about the knight of cups in the reverse for scorpio so water sign cancer scorpio pisces what's the knight of cups in the reverse and the wheel of fortune fixed signs aquarius leo taurus scorpio tell me more this person is going through some type of change or something is fated and destined to happen in divine timing. And we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Ooh. This seems like someone who knows that they lost a great blessing. Someone who knows that they lost a beautiful opportunity with you. Yep, with the Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Swords is the truth. So you are this Queen of Pentacles. See, as you see, she's holding that same pentacle. In her hand you were the blessing abundance prosperity came with you you were a blessing from the universe and looks like the universe may have taken the blessing back from this individual which is you wow yeah someone is in a lot of guilt remorse and regret that they possibly walked away from you or caused you to walk away from them so scorpio you may have um capricorn taurus virgo in your chart or you're just in that very grounded stable energy nurturing energy Hmm. All right. What's the five of swords in the reverse? 
This seems like someone who didn't know what they had until it was gone. Five of Swords in the reverse when it comes to communication. So yeah, looks like it is an ex water sign person. Someone who's kind of immature, very childish, possibly don't know how to love or express their feelings and emotions in the correct way. Five of Swords in the reverse. Too many. Thank you. All right, so Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Give me one more. Yeah, this person lost out big time. Blessings, abundance, a stable household, you know, family, children, generational wealth. They lost it all. Yeah, so we have the Strength card, Leo. And of course, you know, we're still in the Mercury retrograde. So for some of you guys, you know, this is the time frame and other readers can tell you the same thing. This is the time frame where exes are going to possibly like pop up. And this is not the time to really communicate with this ex. Even if you want to reconcile, this is not the time. Maybe after the retrograde, possibly like end of May, June, I mean, uh, end, of May, uh, end of April, May sometime. But the Mercury retrograde ends around the 23rd, 25th of April. So yeah, this is the year of karma. You know, things are happening. Yeah. So Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Strength card. Yeah, someone wants to make up for lost times. Without you, there's no stability, no security, no solid foundation. All the blessings have been taken away from them. Mm. So with the strength card. It's like they're trying to gather up the strength and the courage to approach you and send you this letter or email or text message. Hmm. To potentially reconcile, make amends, maybe clear up some things with you, not be petty or shady anymore, wanting to make peace. The Hierophant and the Moon card at the bottom of the deck, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. So, this seems like someone who wants to fix like a marriage that may have been broken or a long-term commitment you guys had. Wanting to reveal their feelings and emotions. But to an extent, this person may be a little insecure within themselves and don't know what to think or what to do. They're kind of stuck. Yeah, this could be a Pisces. Yeah. Wow. All right. So let's do some clarifying. Of course, if this resonates with you, comment down below. Thumbs up. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. So obviously, this is going to come back around sooner or later. You know, what's the Wheel of Fortune? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Spirit, angels, and guides for Scorpio. All right, so Four of Pentacles, and we have the Three of Pentacles. There's a lot of Pentacle energy coming up. So I don't know if by losing you or losing this connection, it really affected them financial-wise, stability-wise. Hmm. This person could have lost a job or lost a home or don't have no way to live or something going on with stability that they're losing. Hmm. So three of pentacles, four of pentacles. I don't know if they changed their mind about the way they felt about the breakup, separation. But everything was happening in divine timing. Either this person had to let something or someone go, possibly a third party. This can be a job situation, maybe someone else they was living with, maybe even another relationship that in time they was going to let it go. This seemed like someone who was a cheater, who disappointed you and seemed like eventually time was going to, it's like, it's almost divine timing. They was going to let some type of third party situation go. Hmm. Wow. What's the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh -oh. 
Look at you flipping out. So the Empress. Okay, give me one more for the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this person lost big time. You were the biggest beautiful gift and blessing this person could ever encounter. And they screwed it up. They screwed it up with the Empress. By lying, being deceptive, not being honest, taking advantage of their position. Not doing the right thing. Not making things clear to this Empress. And that's why they lost you. So this can be Aquarius, water sign. I'll say this, a water sign or in um, air sign. Yeah. Possibly a masculine or a female that's in her masculine energy. Five of Wands in the reverse, Six of Cups. Yeah, someone doesn't want to fight, argue, have tension between you guys anymore. They want to just work things out, come back together. They want to be honest with you now. Tell the truth. Open up. About you being their wish fulfillment. Mm. Wow. It's like this person's already made their mind up. What they're feeling. It seems like this is someone who really wants to heal things between you. And them definitely air sign here. With the page of swords in the reverse. Eight of uh, swords in reverse. It's like they don't want to be confused. Or sad or depressed anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Someone here is going through some type of transformation. Healing. They don't want to live in the illusions or be a part of the matrix anymore. They're starting to see life and people and their actions in a different perspective. Hmm. Wow. All right. So, Scorpio, yeah, you may have Taurus or Libra in your chart, or you're just this divine empress energy. Yeah, they're not going to find another empress. They will. I mean, you may, but... You only get to come across an emperor empress who's really in their highest vibration maybe once in a lifetime. You can find plenty of knights and kings and queens and stuff, but an empress? Mm -mm. What's the ten of pentacles in the reverse? Ooh. Yeah, that's their karma. Libra energy with the justice. The scales had to be balanced. Your spirit team had to step in. God had to step in. And take things away from this individual. Losing job, losing homes, cars, anything that's tangible. A business could have fall apart. A work situation didn't work out. It's a karma thing because they disrespected a twin flame journey by not going through, you know, the metamorphosis, doing the changes, evolving and healing. Yeah. There's some karma going on here. Tell me tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles and the reverse. Wow, Six of Cups and the reverse. They left a bad taste in your mouth. It's almost like they had a punishment from the spirit where they were not able to reconcile with you at the moment they wanted to. It was divine timing. They need to learn the lessons. They needed to pay karmic debt. Yeah, that's why they wasn't able to talk to you or reach out to you. It's almost like this person's throat chakra could have been blocked. Or, spirit, you know, the universe stopped the communication between you guys. Yeah, even, and the thing was, this chapter really wasn't over. Maybe this person needed to go through some lessons. And the only thing they could do was stalk and watch someone who was beautiful to them someone who was their wish fulfillment their happiness you know until they were able to put their guards down stop the arguing stop the fighting stop the bickering being petty and just be honest and open up and tell you the truth mm -hmm. yep all divine timing when it came to like a a masculine here so now we got the king of pentacles in reverse so your person was not of your highest good even though this is a soulmate twin flame but they were too much of the utterly world non-committal not ready to be the man or the woman that you need them to be it was all divine timing yeah this person needed to do some healing they needed to work on themselves they needed to face their shadow self be alone for a while yeah so it was like a punishment so this cycle between you guys really was not over it was them serving their karmic debt mm -hmm. because they disrespected a blessing that came from god which was you. 
nurturing, caring, love, and kind. Give the shirt off your back. Chosen one, earth angel energy. Mm. Wow. All right. So, final message. What's the strength card? In the reverse, spirit, angels, and guides. Yeah, this person needed to learn a lesson. Mm-hmm. What's the shrug card? Oh. <laughs> Cards flipping over the air. Tell me more spirit. Shrug card. <clears throat> Trial. Hold on. All right. What's the shrug card? In the Thank you. All right. So two of pentacles. Give me one more for the shrug card, spirit. I feel like this is someone who really didn't know how to handle the blessing that they had. They fumbled you. They thought they can treat you like everyone else, but you were different. Yeah. They were unsure. Well, I feel like they are unsure of what to say, what to do. They may have a lot of responsibilities that they're dealing with. Emotionally, they could be all off balance, trying to decide what to do. Hmm. What's the shrimp card? Thank you. Wow. So Ace of Cups in the reverse. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. <clears throat> this person has been suppressing their feelings for some time now. It could have been out of pride and ego. Or right now, the love, the divine love that you gave them, they're not receiving that from anyone right now. And they were just... What is he chilling, Aiden? What is he chilling? Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. It's just... I just feel like this person didn't know how to love you correctly. When you were presented in their life, because we got two aces in the reverse, they received something, a beautiful divine person, unexpectedly. And they fumbled the blessing. They fumbled this beautiful divine love. I feel like you guys were supposed to be a representation of what true divine love looks like but they didn't i don't feel like they knew how to handle it yeah they didn't know how to handle it yeah because look at there the emperor's in the reverse queen of swords and the page of pentacles so yeah this was someone who didn't know how to handle an empress so when they started fumbling you and not being of your highest good being disrespectful narcissistic controlling or acting like they don't have any home training you had to set some boundaries. You had to cut them off. Yeah. Your intuition started to tell you, like, this person don't know how to love. They're very superficial, low vibrational. Queen of Cups in the reverse and the High Priestess. Yeah, this can definitely be like a Cancer Pisces. Yeah. Wow. This Emperor, to the Empress, this person needed to do more healing, shadow work. They, I feel like they wasn't ready for this position. They came into the situation unhealed. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.